The Caravan Diary is proud to be sponsored by Caravan Guard Insurance. Get a quick discounted quote at caravanguard.co.uk slash caravan diary. I always rather enjoy the tent bit at shows, although the only time I spent a night in a tent in the last 10 years, I froze. But I still rather like these jobs for around 300 quid, and you can even fit a stove as an optional extra. If you want to give one a look, here's the website. Now you might have seen me going on about these little vehicles some time ago in the past. This is a wheel home made by the eponymous Stephen Wheeler. He makes amazing little vehicles that hold anything from two to four people in considerable comfort but on very small vehicle bases. The vehicles he chooses, he fits out with exquisite care. They're amazing and he gets so much in. I tend to call him my favourite mad bloke, but the reality is that he's one of my favourite very clever people. He's also, in this instance, the first person I've seen to use a diesel-fired cooking stove in any recreational vehicle. Maybe some other people use them, but I don't know. They're popular in the boating market because the thing about them is that you don't have to carry or worry about a second fuel. There's no gas. The fuel for the cooking top comes straight out of your diesel tank. To prove the point, here's the diesel hob. Stephen Wheeler says that the only drawback is the time it takes to heat, about four minutes. This sofa is also the bed, but the car's original seats are still beneath them, so the vehicle is a proper four-seater with good belt anchorages. Up in the roof there's a full-size bed and a child's bed. Take out the mattresses and you've got 70 plus litres of storage. The Wheel Home Scarper. Love the name, love the vehicle. Here's a different kind of van imported from the USA. The carry van is designed for people who want to transport maybe a couple of quad bikes, a personal watercraft or even a little car like a Smart or similar. They'll want to live in the van while they're away so there's a bed extension, a loo and a shower and a small galley. There's also an internal option for a convertible sofa which turns into a pair of bunks or even a double bed. Now that's very clever. I can imagine these vehicles being used by very sporty families or couples or by professional sports people who want to carry their equipment off the beaten track. We'll be back with our show summary, a feature about Simon Fry and his specially adapted disabled caravans and a couple more items during next week. So make sure you keep up with my caravan diary. Caravan Diary is proud to be sponsored by Caravan Guard Insurance. Insurance for caravans, folding campers, trailer tents and motorhomes. Caravan Diary viewers qualify for up to 10% club member insurance discounts. Get a quick quote at caravanguard.co.uk slash caravan diary.